On the evening of October 25, 1973, a young Pennsylvania farmer, Stephen Pulaski, and at least 15 other witnesses saw a bright object hovering over a field near them. Stephen grabbed his rifle and went to investigate. It was then that he noticed something walking along by the fence. They were hairy and long-armed, with greenish-yellow eyes, and a smell like burning rubber was present. Stephen sensed that these creatures were not friendly and fired a tracer bullet over their heads. And when they kept on coming, he fired directly at one of them. The creatures then all disappeared into the woods, and the glowing object disappeared from the field instantaneously. UFO researchers, as well as a state trooper, were called in to investigate. When they arrived, the people there told them that Stephen had been growling like an animal and flailing his arms. His own dog ran toward him, and Stephen attacked the dog. Stephen then collapsed, and after a time, began to come to his senses. The entire group commented, on the nauseating, sulfur-like odor that was present. He was in a pickup truck, and he was coming out to my father's farm, and advanced with me. And we turned off the main road up a dirt lane to go up to his farm. As we went up the lane, I looked to the left, and I seen this big orange ball in the sky. And it wasn't no more than maybe 100 feet off the ground. And my wife looked to know him. He was just gone, we stopped, and then we drove on up to the house. In the house. So we all looked off the porch and watched it. It was just coming down slow. He was making like some kind of humming noise then. My mother and I was there and he was a little bit scared. I said, I'll go down and I said, I'll look and see what I can see from down there. So we went down, pulled up in her driveway. I'm looking up on a hill and all I can see is like a cup, reflection off the ground. I'm going to have to go back to my house, I said, and I'll go out the field and check. So they had twin boys there and it was Rick and Nick. It was about from 10 to 12 years old in that room. They said, can we go up with you? Because they were Yeah, I didn't. You know, so they got me back in my truck, and we went up to my dad's house, and we parked the truck in front of the house. Got out of the truck, and you could hear this, like a lawnmower, but it was a real loud worm noise, like a turbine running or something. And we're standing there listening, and I hear, like, this distant crying, like a baby crying, you know, a kid yelling, whatever. And that scared me. So my dad had a couple of tracers there for his 30 on 6 rifle. It's an old sack. Don't ask me why I did it because I put the tracers in and I carried the bullets with me after all. And these two twins were standing there with me. And one twin said, there comes something along the fence. It must have been maybe 100 feet to my right, the hillside. And I'm looking and I could see the movement of the thing from the glow of this ball. So when it got within about maybe 50 or 60 feet, maybe 70 feet away from it, I looked at it, and there was this object walking. And it was real tall, and it seemed like it was walking. It was slow, but taking long strides. I mean, there was a movement that slow in the body, but strides on it. And I'm watching it, and here it's following the fence line. And every time it would get to another fence post, it would make its noise. And then I seen why it was making this noise for this thing behind it, another one to come right up behind it. As soon as the second one would get up to it, it would proceed up to another fence post. And this thing got, when it got directly diagonal from us, it's one of the twin, he started screaming, I think it was Ricky, he started running, he ran back down to the house. Nicky grabbed my leg, he said, shoot it, shoot it. So I'm standing there, so I shot a tracer over its head, and the tracer flared. And I think these things, the only, I mean, they were tall. The fence posts that were there were railroad ties. They tired over top of these things. The front one tired over two feet. And the second one must have been maybe, maybe a foot shorter. Shot the tracer over there, and I just looked at it, and the front one looked at me, and I could just see the glow of its eyes. So I shot the second tracer. Same thing. And I mean, when I shot the second tracer, first one reached its hand back, and to my mind, it would be the length of this table, and it touched the other one. And that light went out. The light just completely went out. And they're standing there, and I could see both her eyes looking at me, just like cow eyes. And this little kid screamed. So I put a regular bullet in there. Here there was still a glow out there from the ground. Like the ground was low, the glow was along the fence, but the big ball that went out. And I shot the first shot, and I remember seeing a piece of that wood just splatter, just come out to the side of it. 
put the other two bullets I had in the underneath the chamber and I made three. I shot again and twice I hit right in because it's sounded just like shooting into a, into a lake or something, just you know, like water popping. And I hit the thing, they turned around and they followed that fence. They didn't go towards it like they followed that fence back. They started moving. We, we run. We run. We both run.